We've got the top 10 most popular strollers according to Babylist. We're gonna be talking about everything you need to know to make this big decision. So price, how they're unique, and how they meet your family's needs. All right, let's dive into number 10. Okay, so at number 10, we have the Graco Modes Pramlet. This is a pram, a stroller, and a travel system all in one. So I like the size of this one. The seat is nice and wide. The fabric feels nice. They have this nice canopy, which is pretty large. Huge basket. It has the cup holder here. It also has the cell phone holder on the other side. This one runs at 220, which I think is great because it's a three in one, right? So a lot of strollers, they might not have a cup holder, but you'll buy the attachment that has a cup holder, which, you know, ka -ching. So <laughs> let's go ahead and show them it turning into a pram. Pram time, let's go. So you hit this button right here. You hold on this button, pull it down in the front. It's a little attachment, and then turns into a pram. It's now a pram, so that means you can use it during infancy. A lot of other strollers that we're gonna review today, you need to purchase the attachment. It's reversible, so baby can face you. Comes out really easy, so check this out. Boom, boom. And let's go ahead and show them the fold. So this is okay. a one hand fold. Let's lift up the pram. There's a little lock feature here, which is nice. Press this, then. Now is it light? Kayla test. Pull out the guns. Oh, oh, it actually is really light. Oh, that's and then really nice. You just pop this open. Bam, it's there. You're good to stroll away. I think people are putting this on their registry because it's a three in one. It's budget friendly. And it looks big enough that your kid could grow with this. That's true. And now at number nine, we have the Nuna Demi Grow. And this is $950. So we just jumped stroller price range here. And you can kind of tell, because there's a lot going on here. There's a lot. So this stroller you can use from infancy, as long as you have the car seat attachment, like the Nuna Pippa, or you can also get the bassinet attachment. But this also has a lot of features that we need to talk about. First of all, it's kind of an all season seat. So this is the winter, colder, weather canopy. The canopy, as you can see, is lined kind of like this quilted material. There's also a mesh little pocket back here. And this is the fabric that's aligned on the inside too to keep baby warm. Let's go ahead and show them the warmer weather. It pops on and off pretty easy. The zipper along the back. Springtime's here, summer's here, yeah. baby's getting warmer. This whole seat unzips, which is really nice. It's winter, it's cold. We have this nice fabric that's gonna keep baby warm. Now for hotter days, you know how it gets in a stroller. We all have fans. You can take off this thicker lining and there's mesh lining all around just to keep baby nice and cool. I also love the basket. This basket is large. Also, the thing I love about this, it extends because listen, I'm tall. Kayla, tall people. you're tall too. I love this. Right Us now. parents have enough back problems, all right? <laughs> and then this way it folds down. You just pull these up like this. Again, very sleek with the design. We love it, Nuna. We're here oh. for it. There's also a nifty little handle right here. Ooh. Ah, this one's heavy. I can't <laughs> lift it. <laughs> this one's a little heavier than our last one. I'm strong, but I'm not that strong. So, so it swings it out pretty easy as well. It's easy. And this seat also reclines. Easily, you hit these little levers right here. Boom, comes out. And if you want your baby facing you, which I know my wife absolutely loves. Me too. You put it right on and then bam. This stroller also turns into a double stroller so long as you buy the other seat. And the stroller is also compatible with all of Graco's infant car seats. And it just snaps in just like that. Yep. If you want to attach the Pippa car seat, you will need the adapter. And it just clicks in like that. I love the way the stroller looks. Like, I mean, I love the leather features. This thing is not gonna break at all. It doesn't seem like, I'm, I'm a big fan of the stroller. $950 is a lot of money. The look and feel is so much of what you're paying for here. I agree. I think you're paying a lot for the aesthetic. You're paying a lot for the name. Nuna is very like popular. I do not like that it has literally no, none of the attachments that we enjoy, like cup holders, phone holders. That's all sold separately. And at this price point, I think it should be included or at least have one. <laughs> it is great that your family can grow with this one since it does turn into a double stroller. At number eight, we have the Guava Family Rome Crossover Stroller. This is our first jogger on our list, and I love the sleek look of it. 
It's made with incredible durability. The seat seems very comfy. I'm obsessed with this canopy. So the price of this stroller, $550. Mm -hmm. This is definitely like one of like the, you know, upper tier of like jogging strollers. You could take this thing hiking. You could take this thing on your local bike path. It's a great travel stroller as well. It's very compact once it folds down. The tires, as you can tell, these are not your regular stroller tires. These are bike tires. These are awesome tires right here. And this thing actually has like a gear shift. You can can change it so the tires go 360 or you can change it to just so your tires just go straight. There's also cup holders. And it's a decent sized basket. This jogging stroller lies pretty flat. Yeah, it lies flat for a nice little nap. I know my daughter took the best naps in the jogging oh, yeah, stroller. Oh yeah, sure. How about we show them how it folds? Okay, cool. You gotta pull these down. There we go. And then come to the front and boom. The best part is it also stands, but that's really compact. Magic. Kayla strength test. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> this is a little heavier than that first one that I love that was really light, the Great Go. This one is less than the Nuna. <laughs> you gotta think, you don't have to carry this that Yeah, far. no, no, it's like- So it's so really coming out of your trunk and then you're popping it back open. Here's the thing, you really gotta pop this thing up. You gotta pop it up. So, so if you're baby wearing, this will not be the stroller for you to... <laughs> I'm not a fan of the way it opens, but what do you think? No, I understand. Honestly, you gotta be a little strong to like throw this one up too, yeah. so I get it. All right, let's get to number seven, the Nuna Tavo Next Stroller. And this color right here that you're looking at right now, and I know you're saying this is an amazing color, you can only get it at Baby List. I love this color. I, I love do. the color. It is great to use throughout infancy. You can just add the infant insert and lay back the seat, or you could add the Nuna Pippa car seat, which just attaches. You don't need an adapter, which is really nice. Stroll around. You can have the double canopy thing going on if you want. All of these just kind of Zip off, open up, give baby some fresh air. This one has the breathable mesh. Flip that open, check in. The basket size is decent. It's not as big as some of the other ones, but it does have a shelf, so you can kind of keep things organized. When you want to lift up the seat, you know how a lot of them that we've been using have the string? Nuna wanted to take that out. And now you can just So let's show them how easy it is to fold it. It's a one hand fold, there's a little button on top, you just push. And just like that. It is really light. You want something that's light enough so you can put it into your car pretty easily. This one, super easy to unfold. Check it out. Boom. Just like that. So obviously the stroller is very unique. It offers tons of features that kind of just make stroller using easier. I think it's also a great price point at 550. Some of the things I like about it is that these attachments are all Velcroed on and you can kind of get them off a lot easier than with the other Nuna that we talked about. The only thing I don't like about this, I have to say, you said it passed your basket test. It does not pass my basket it's test. It's a small basket. It is a it smaller is. basket. Out of the Nunas though, this is the one I would pick. I think it's the best for the price point. And if you like cup holders or anything like that, you're gonna have to buy them separately from Nuna because they are not here. So if that's a deal breaker, this one might not be for you. So at number six, we have the Summer Infant 3D Mini Convenience Stroller. It is theme park approved. Yes. I'd say it's very nice to wipe off. It is smaller than a lot of the other ones we have. I wouldn't say this would be my main stroller. This is a vacation stroller. Mm -hmm. Like that's what this is. This is a vacation stroller that you can easily fold up. It's got the convenient cup holders back here. It kind of, this is kind of like a fanny pack. Also, you can easily wipe this thing down. This is churro dust that you're gonna get at Disney World <laughs> or something like that. Shake it right off of this Shake stroller. It it's gone. This stroller, although infant is in the name, you have to start off at six months. So a newborn won't be hanging out in this. We're looking at a lot of strollers today. Yep. And I know that, you know, with some of them, they're wider and they're bigger, and that's hard to kind of navigate mm -hmm. through crowds. It's also very light at yes, 11 pounds. Very light. It does have a small basket area just to put a few of your belongings. And yeah, let's show them how it folds up. All right. You kick right here, and then. Fold down. Voila, that's it. Bam. To bring it back up, you just unlock and bring it up, kick down, and then bam. I'd say this is a great stroller to register for if you're looking ahead. You know you might take baby to Disney. It is on Amazon and you can register for it. It might be nice to bring along if you forget your bigger stroller or you don't want to lug around your big stroller on travel days. 
And at number five, we have the Uppa Baby Cruise. And this thing is very sleek. I feel like a lot of it is one button. Yes, it's very user friendly. Yes. The fabric is nice and it seems like a very durable fabric and just stroller in general. But you already know I'm all about the basket <laughs> and I swear I can fit into this. Like a lot of the strollers we've seen, this one comes off, comes off very smooth. It also flips around so you can look at baby. And goes on. Just like that. It also can extend <laughs> for the tall folks. So yes. So we have the Upper Baby Mesa and it just clicks right on. No adapter necessary. And when you're done, just press this button at the top. Cool. There we go. So it's a little pricier than our last one, definitely. Yeah, yes. So you are part of the Up a Baby fam. I love Up a Baby, and you're paying for you're paying a lot. Of, you're paying for the name, but you're also paying for just quality and ease of use. And this is so user friendly. There's stop, go. It's very good for a first time parent and somebody who has never had to touch a stroller before. So let's show them the fold down. Here we go. Beautiful. Would you like to do the Kayla lift All test All right, let's here? do the test. All right. This is like, this is something I would use for arm day. <laughs> <laughs> Pop it out, you just take this tab right here, unlock. Yeah. It's nice. It, it also reclines. Look at that. Which is a nice feature for nap time. It's a great one overall for any family, in my opinion. Yeah, and it comes with this large canopy that can block. Also, you've got your little Shade right here, you got the mesh. This is a great stroller and it comes at $700. But if you compare it to some of the other features that we've seen in other strollers, it makes sense. So at number four, we have the Nuna Mix Next stroller and it runs about $800. I love it. We love the look of Nuna ones, obviously the quality of the fabric, great. This one actually has a mesh seat for the hotter days, similar to the previous Nuna one we have. And then there's also this insert that is fuller without the mesh. So this canopy extends as you can see. And then the mesh in the back for breathability. So the stroller um, handle also extends. We love for the top people. The seat also reclines. So you can just lower it with the buttons on the side. It's really flexible. I've never seen one like this. That's really cool. <laughs> to take the seat off, you just use the handles right here and like look at these. Pretty cool. Sweet. It just goes right back in. Speaking of handles, we can actually attach the Nuna infant car seat to the stroller as well. The adapter does come with the stroller. So with the infant car seat, you can face it facing forward or back as well. It depends on which way you attach the adapter. I think the basket at the bottom is a solid size. Yep. Let's show them the fold. Yes, and this is a very impressive fold. You lift this tab up, down, and then pull this up and fold down. Strength test. All right, strength test. Let's do it. It's a little heavy, but it's not that bad. I will say this is a little on it's the a, heavier side. It's a little heavier. And then to pull it up, same thing. And then you just bing, bing, bing. I think people were adding this one to the registry because of the way that it folds. I imagine if you saw how this folds, like I need that stroller, I think that's really what it does. I think the breathability in here too. I think there's a lot of reasons why. And also just this leather right here, it's just very nice to hold in your hand. At number three, we have the Graco Modes Nest to Grow stroller. And this is a nest to grow because it can fit two seats in it and it moves a lot. I love impressive. this thing. So you have the toddler seat or an infant seat if you purchase that separately. And there's also the attachments to put another seat below. This is really great for the family that has two under two or twins. What's nice is these two come out and you can move the seat lower. And then you have this large basket back here. And they come with adapters and they have cool adapter storage down here in this huge basket. Slides in like that, so like that. Now that we have the adapters on, we can put the car seat on there just like that. Now you have two seats on the stroller. Once your infant outgrows this infant seat, you can also get another attachment like the toddler seat and just attach it up top. It's super customizable. 
and adjustable large basket for storage for two kids and parent. I think it's awesome. It also comes with a cup holder. So this is really a great stroller for the family who is thinking about growing. And it's very interesting. This comes at 390 and this looks like a stroller that we're gonna be talking about very soon. Now let's see how we uh, fold this. Hit these levers right here and then just fold like so. Oh, nice. Then stands up on its own, and there you have it. Oh, oh um. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. Because of the materials this is made out of, I'm surprised that it's this heavy. I see why this one is so popular. It's affordable, it can grow with your family, it's durable. And at number two, we have the Uppa Baby Vista Stroller. This one is quite similar to the previous Uppa Baby Stroller featured on this list. However, this one also comes with a bassinet. Yes, this one comes with a bassinet and it is $1,100. And this is Daniel's stroller. So Daniel, <laughs> what do you love about it? I love this stroller. This is the stroller that I've had. All of my kids have been in the stroller, so that lets you know that it is super durable. Gone from car to car, been thrown around everywhere because of the way that it's built. All of these materials, all washable, a little bit hard to take the stuff off, I will say that. The thing I love about Upper Baby is that everything's so easy to use. Like, popping stuff off, so easy. Like, oh, yeah. putting stuff back on, super easy. Forward facing, rear facing. Let's check Let's out the do canopy. It. We love a canopy. I do like the fabric. It, yes. It feels very durable. We have the mesh up here. It does extend, oh, and it covers quite a bit. The basket is large. I see what yes. you mean by the basket. Oh yeah. And I believe there's also an attachment to make the bassinet a stand. Yes, it is a stand and a stand that turns into a laundry basket as well. So I'm loving this little cover, nice and cozy for baby. So it unzips, so it removes completely off. Also, there's this zipper on the canopy and it's just more mesh for baby, nice and breathable. And then this also zips off. Oh. from the inside. So you could take this off too. Oh yeah, easy wash to it. wash or just remove if it's a nice day and you want baby out. So not only does the bassinet snap in and snap off so easy, you can actually also fit the Uppa Baby Infant Mesa car seat. Again, the durability, the sleekness, the aesthetic of it all is really great. It is the highest price point we've talked about today, but. One of the biggest differences between the Vista and the Cruise is that this can actually expand to fit two. So with attachments, you can put another seat down here or going forward. And you know, the same thing with the infant seat as well. Similar to the Graco one we just reviewed, you yes. can kind of have the double stroller. That's a really nice feature to have as well. The one thing I will say, it is a lot harder to maneuver mm. with two. I also noticed, so the handlebar goes higher too, like yes. the other ones. That's nice, another yes. nice feature. So let's watch it close up. There we go, lift up. Then nice. fold it down. Nice. And it goes pretty flat. Stands up. So it's not super heavy, but let's see if it's easy or hard to. It's actually, it's not bad. And if you're looking at the Upper Baby Vista and you're like, this is just like a little bit too much, the Graco Nesta Grow is honestly, it's clone. It may not be like the same exact materials and things like that that make the Upper Baby so expensive, but they really look the same. They function a lot of the same way. They both hold two seats. And at this price point, I would probably get the Graco one. If you know someone who wants to give you a really nice gift, this is <laughs> definitely something to throw their way. This is something you register for, for sure. Number one, it is the Baby Jogger City Mini GT2 Stroller. And your baby barely moves when you're in this thing. It is, I mean, this thing is great. So it's small enough to fit at parks like Disney, which have special requirements. So that's kind of nice, it's compact. It's also a great fabric, but what I like the most is the huge canopy. Yes. You're probably gonna be going in and out of sun a little bit, especially if you're going on any kind of like walking trail or something. Having a huge canopy that your kids gonna be able to sleep in, be awake in, this is perfect for that. And your baby wants to relax. It reclines. So going into the basket, obviously the shape of this is a little more slim towards the front, but it's a decent size basket. They give you some extra storage space up here, which is really nice. The tires are also called never flat, which means they should never go flat. They're durable and perfect for like city terrain or different kinds of terrain. All right, so this is our absolutely favorite fold. This fold is 
chef's kiss. Yeah, this is the greatest fold of all time. Oh, that's flat. That is super flat. And this is not heavy, because I don't know if you guys are looking at my arms. I'm not the strongest guy in the world. All right, let's give it the, here real, the real weight give test, the test here. This is my left hand. It's not too bad, it's not, not too bad. bad. Okay. All like right. I think it's great, especially for the price of 400, if you're counting on the durability and the versatility of it. Yeah. Other than the Uppa Baby, which you have, is there any on our list that you would go with? The Graco Nest to Grow was the biggest shocker for me. Like, me I have too. to tell you, like, I did not expect to see a stroller at that price range that was so comparable to one that was, like, way more expensive, as I know the Abbe Vista very well. But that one is, I mean, very close at a third of the price. I completely agree. I feel like for my first stroller, I wasn't ready to make the leap for a stroller that could be a double stroller. But if I did, it would definitely be that one. If there are any that you think you're interested in, comment below, let us know what you're looking at and what you think.